This is Peter DeCampo. I'm a photojournalist whose work is focused on issues of public health and development. The Carter Center sent me to Guatemala to document their efforts eliminating onchocerciasis, or river blindness. Little could prepare me for the surprise I found there. Instead of witnessing a countrywide epidemic, I saw few traces of the disease. Onchocerciasis is spread by the bites of tiny flies that breed near rivers and streams. And although people working on Guatemala's farms and coffee plantations are bitten thousands of times a year, the disease only remains in a few small pockets. In fact, it hasn't actually caused blindness in the Americas since 1995. A few community elders were the only people I spoke to who remembered the hardships of the disease. This success is the result of more than a decade of work by the Onchocerciasis Elimination Program for the Americas, or OEPA, in partnership with the Six River Blindness Countries in the Americas, the Carter Center, and Lions Club International. Now, with a final push, the 2012 goal to stop transmission in the Western Hemisphere is within reach. While it was a struggle to find ways of illustrating a disease that has practically disappeared, at the same time, I had to marvel at the efforts of the local health staff and their successful fight against onchocerciasis. In massive community sweeps held twice a year, health staff and volunteers go door to door making sure that every single person takes the drug mectizan, killing the parasites that could otherwise cause blindness. The pharmaceutical company Merck has pledged to donate mectizan worldwide for as long as necessary. The Guatemala National Program's other major task is continued health education, which they have taken on in a variety of creative ways, keeping school children and the community at large engaged through interactive games and role plays, in addition to standard health lessons. Yeah, taking in account that disease is every day less present in the communities, for the program, the most important thing to do is to work in health education for health workers and for communities. So for us, it's very nice to, to support health workers looking for other kind of methodologies and ways to establish relations with communities. The disease is not is difficult to see in the community, so people should know the importance of the disease in the past and the importance to continue taking the pill, taking medicine, and this is possible only through the health education activities.